I'm Hillary Ritchie. I'm on the board of the Outreach Foundation, and I'm also the Minister for Worship and the Arts at Hope Church in Richfield, Minnesota. And I'm Kimmy Briggs. I'm also on the board of the Outreach Foundation. I am the pastor of First Presbyterian Church in Lewistown, Montana. So, Hillary, we're coming to the end of our time here in Turkey um, and, and reflecting a little bit about what God has been up to here. So if you had to, like, tell the one story that you want to go home um, and share with others about what God is up to, what's that story? So we saw so many amazing ministries here, and uh, there's lots of ministries that work with women and children in Iran, but one of the ones that really stuck out to me was a ministry called Radmard, which mm -hmm. works with the men. Yeah. There's so many broken homes in Iran, uh, addiction, trauma, abuse, and Radmard focuses in on the men to bring healing. They have counseling, mm -hmm. they have a safe space where they can have uh, open and honest conversations and create the healing that needs to happen for these men to to grow and to become good fathers, uh, parents, friends, uh, to be men of God. That was just it was it was amazing to see them. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, it, we really are going home with a lot of stories. So, like, choosing one is really hard. Um, but I think of the ministry of Jubal Band Ministries mm -hmm. um, that we've sort of seen of the back half of this trip. Um, and the work that they are doing to boldly um, proclaim the gospel um, in country. And the, the ways that they are doing that and the courage that their people show. Um, but then they don't just like end with sharing the gospel for the first time. They, they have this whole process of equipping um, and supporting believers to be growing in, in their faith. Um, and it's just incredible to see the way that they're, they're multiplying their ministry um, and helping people grow in their love of Christ. Um, and so that then they, they that these first generation Christians then go on to um, be evangelists themselves, to be the witnesses themselves, um, even as they are just now starting to come to faith, um, that they're becoming witnesses. And, yeah. and the work that they're doing is, is incredible. It, it totally is. As a trustee and board member, mm -hmm. why do you think it's important for the Outreach Foundation to be involved in these, in these ministries? Yeah, that's a great question. For me, it goes to that idea of um, the first generation Christians. Um, and we've grown up um, surrounded by faith. It's faith that gets passed down from generation to generation to generation. Um, but here we're, we're seeing these first generation believers. And what does it mean to come alongside and equip these believers um, to grow in their faith, but then to equip them to become leaders themselves mm -hmm. um, and that so that this, the message might spread. We, we talk a lot about this hope that we would um, share the gospel so that it spreads to the fourth generation. Um, and we have the opportunity as the Outreach Foundation to really be a part of that, mm -hmm. um, to jump in, to offer, um, to offer some training, to offer equipping, um, not as the experts, not as the ones who have figured it all out, yeah. um, but to come in humility um, and to come alongside these believers um, and help this help share the faith so that it gets passed from generation to generation. Yeah, that's so true. I what think, about for you? Yeah, yeah I think um, one of the important things is uh, just showing up, mm -hmm. like the ministry yeah. of presence, just being there, um, and especially showing up for people where it's difficult to be a Christian. Mm -hmm. We can't we cannot fathom the things that these Persian Christians go through. Um, and so, like, simply showing up face-to-face, -face, mm -hmm. being with someone, um, saying, I, listening to their stories, mm -hmm. encouraging them, um, that's huge. We, that's one of the best things the Outreach Foundation does is it builds relationship Absolutely. among Christians from all over the world. And um, this is a place where it's really difficult to be mm -hmm. a, a Christian, and they need the encouragement of the global church to keep going. So I'm so proud that the Arch Foundation is a part of this and excited to see what God continues to do as we continue to lean into these partnerships. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if, I think if I had to describe this trip in just like a couple of words, it's the idea of mutual encouragement. Yeah. Um, of I, I hope that in our time here, as we've participated in these conferences with these ministries, that, that we have encouraged and, and brought hope um, to, to these friends, to these brothers and sisters in Christ. But I know I'm going home encouraged in my faith um, as yeah. well, and, um, and, and in, in boldness and in courage and in perseverance. Um, and, and I'm grateful for this experience to be here. Yeah, it's going to be hard to say goodbye. Yeah, no kidding. Hard yeah. to say goodbye to our team, too. I know. Um, yeah. And food. I think I'm going to miss the food. That's so true. Yeah. 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 It's been a blessing to be here with you and to be yeah. with the Christians we've met. And um, 
continue to pray for them, continue Absolutely. to um, pray for each other on the team. Yes. Um, yeah. It's, yeah. It's it really has been, been it's been a joy. Yeah.